Businesses can decide how to handle masks, too. There are mixed feelings in Hamilton County. News 8's Katie Wisely is live in Carmel. There's at least one business taking a stand. Hey, good morning. That's right. Well, here at Silver in the City in Carmel off Main Street, those policies won't change. You can see a sign not only here on the front door, but also on the side window before you enter that those face masks will be required for customers. We're also told that staff will be wearing those masks here as well. But different businesses have different opinions here in Hamilton County. The city of Fishers, which has its own health department separate from Hamilton County, is committed to helping businesses keep their their employees and customers safe. They currently have an 85% vaccination rate, but are advising businesses who run into problems to call police. The manager at Handles Homemade Ice Cream says employees will wear masks for another month, but they won't require customers to wear them. All of our customers are outside, so they don't come into the building. So if they're outside and they're social distancing, some of the customers already aren't wearing masks. We try not to enforce it. It's not our job to enforce people wearing masks when that mandate is up. All we can do is enforce what our employees are doing and how we want to attack it from, from the inside. Fisher's police are aware that there could be situations at a business where someone refuses to wear a mask, even though it may be required. They will respond and talk through the situation with all parties. Now, some businesses here in Carmel that we've noticed here on Main Street, they used to have that sign that said masks required. Now, some of those businesses have put up those new signs on the front door and on a window that say masks recommended. So clearly a difference of opinion here in Carmel and throughout Hamilton County. Live in Carmel, Katie Wisely, Wish TV, Wish TV.